In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can create unlimited amounts of soar to videos for your Facebook ads that look like okay, this. Okay, so this is kind of wild, but... Or like, like what you're this one. All new Define jacket. So here it is. This is the updated version from or Lemon and I. That What's up, guys? I wanted to show you the new AOT from. Cut. And as you may or may not have noticed, on all three of those videos, there is no watermark. Up until now, you might have seen a lot of videos that people generated utilizing Soar 2, which are hyper realistic videos that are almost indistinguishable from reality. The only problem with those videos is that you had this little annoying Soar 2 watermark at the top. So the only way to be able to generate videos utilizing Soar 2 for your Facebook ads was actually to use the API. But if you're not incredibly tech savvy and you don't have some form of user interface to play with the API, it was a little hard. Up until Arcads decided to integrate that into their software. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you in this video. So as you can see on screen right now, I am on an app called Arcads.ai and they have one of their new features that where if you come at the bottom of the app right here and you go to videos, okay? So as you can see, it has the new tag. You can pick through different models right here, all the way from VO, so from Google to Kling, the Soar 2 or Soar 2 Pro. For the best quality in my experience, you'd usually wanna stick with the Soar 2 Pro model, which is the one I've used for the clips I showed you earlier. Now, once you've clicked on that, what I usually do is I'm gonna leave this as like nine by 16 right here, cause that's the most common size that we're gonna use anyways for like ads or UGC type of footage. In terms of seconds, you can do four, eight or 12 second clips. So bear in mind that if you're gonna do say a 30, 40 second like UGC ad or talking head ad or whatever, you're gonna have to break down your script in different segments, which I'll show you anyways in this video. So I'd personally choose 12 second bits right here because that allows you to have, say you're gonna to wanna to do a 30 second ad, then you only need to do like three generations. So fairly straightforward and less manual editing needed afterwards. Now here in terms of quality, you have the choice for the Soar 2 Pro model. You can do 720p or 1080p. 1080p of course is gonna be better quality. So we're gonna go with 1080p right here. So now I've kind of prepared the environment for it. And showing you again the generations that I did earlier right here, you can kind of see the prompt as an example that I did on here. So very little instructions, like I wasn't hyper specific with it. And you can kind of see that again, if I, I'm just gonna put it on mute and, and play it back right here. Compared to other AI videos from before, like you could kind of tell with the voice sometimes or like the eyesight or the mouth. I mean, honestly, like if you look at the mouth, the movement is very natural. There's even a little bit of camera shake in one of the cuts right here, as you're going to see. So like it looks incredibly real, honestly, with it. That said, you can also have Sora add like text on screen, kind of like this one. It says not real. Sora will do cuts. Sora can also add music in the background. So anyways, in other words, it can do a lot of things right here. So that being said, I've prepared a couple of videos that are still generating right now to show you those throughout this video. OK, so basically like the first thing that you would, of course, want to have before wanting to use the API utilizing Arcads is to have your script. OK, so you can use like any sort of AI model that you want. So you could do it as an example with Claude. You could do it with GPT. I use the mix of our own internal software. So just a very quick side note, I run a company called paidadvertising.com. We're spending about 20 to 30 million dollars a year on paid ads on the behalf of the hundreds of clients that we work with at the agency and we recently launched a software called ad engine ai which helps us do script writing copywriting analyze ad results market research name it and so i've used our tool to help me essentially do uh, right here some scripting okay so basically all i did is like i had a research document about my offer which i uploaded to it then it asked me essentially like what is the ad type i want to create market sophistication awareness level the reason i show you this is because those are the steps that you would want to follow essentially if you use like another model such as gpt or claude so you go through those right here and then i kind of gave it my prompt about what i wanted it to do for the ad right there so basically for this offer help me create a stage three problem where humoristic ugc i said i wanted to say ugc it says ug ad that'll last around 30 seconds break down each script in three 10 second bits Again, because going back right here, we have a 12 second limit. I said 10 second just to be safe because sometimes again, like with AI video generations, it might go a little bit off topic. So like I wanted to have at least a two second buffer. It's actually be about an agency owner who's initially crying at night in an exaggerated way about not having predictable leads. And then as the ad finishes with him finally waking up sweating, he opens up his computer and sighs as he realizes this was just a dream. And so you have right here, it confirms all the detail for the ad. I said, yes, please uh, proceed. 
Then it gave me essentially like the entire kind of ad concept right here with the clips that it would have. So all I ended up doing is just to make this easier for me to paste into Arc ads. I just asked then GPT to like tweak those into uh, prompts right here for Sora, which I did. And now I'm pasting those inside of Arc ads. So as you can see right here as an example, like this was my first prompt, right? And so like a dark, dimly lit bedroom at night, a young man in his late 20s looking like an overworked agency owner sits dramatically on the edge of his bed in pajamas, blah, blah, blah. So that being said right here, this is again meant to be like a humoristic hook for an ad for our ad engine inner circle, essentially, which by the way, only your ad engine inner circle clients do get access to our ad engine software, which is going to be linked down below. But that said here, <laughs> if I open this up, here's the prompt, right? That I gave it again, I use a SOAR2 Pro model. So same prompt that I literally just showed you right here is what I gave it right there. So let's play it out and you're going to hear what this looks like. <laughs> Why won't the leads come? Why is the phone silent? I just want a predictable pipeline. Is that too much? There you go. So again, kind of pretty funny. Like if I would put that, say with just very little editing, I could put like POV, you're an agency owner in 2025 as an example. And then I just put subtitles for what he's saying here. Pretty funny for the hook right here. So I was kind of clip one that I wanted to generate. I tried everything, ads, cold emails, webinars, nothing. My agency is drowning and I'm out of ideas. And so now the second clip, something like that, right? Like it was like the camera's now closer. It's kind of waist up shot. The man clutches his laptop tightly against his chest, shaking his head in despair. And then he says, you know, I tried everything, ads, cold emails, webinar, nothing. My agency's drowning and I'm out of ideas, right? So again, an accommodate sort of like crying out loud type of way. Here's the prompt or here's the generation that I had from this. So you can see same prompt, sore two model. Let's play it. I tried everything, ads, cold emails, webinars, nothing. My agency is drowning and I'm out of ideas. Pretty good. Like if I still had the same POV thing at the top of the subtitles, like an agency owner would feel pretty compelled to want to watch a video like this one. And so now here's the third generation for the other clip. So again, a sudden cut, the morning light, the same man jolts awake in bed, sweating and panting, visibly stressed. So use cinematic lighting that shifts from night blue to daylight warm right here, wipes his forehead, relieved, just a nightmare, right? Okay, so let's play it out. Just a nightmare, right? Too bad leads aren't predictable. Yet. So what I would probably do is in editing, I would cut that here at the start because like that doesn't really make sense with a clip that somebody would have seen prior to it. And I just cut back right here. But like this is pretty good. You know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good ad. Like this is literally exactly what I would have wanted to do with this video. And the difference right here is this costed me like three credits on our CADs right here. And just to give you some context, I'm in Canada, right? But like three credits right here is an example. So this is three of 10 credits right there. So considering that it's about $150 Canadian for 10 credits. So this cost me about $50 CAD to generate that, which is roughly $35 USD to generate this. And now before somebody says, well, why didn't you just hire a UGC creator? It would have probably cost me about 150 bucks to get a UGC creator. It would have probably taken them maybe a week at best to be able to shoot this content and send it back to me. And then of course, there's the editing time on my side. We just shorten this timeline. It's cheaper and faster than if you would have worked with an actual human to deliver something like this video that we've ended up generating right here. And so now what I want to do right here is do exactly what I told you. I want to put those three videos together. I'm going to use a software called Veed.io to put those together and show you exactly how this would look like as a full fledged ad. So I'm going to head over to Veed.io right here, which is an editing software. You can use also CapCut if you want to do this for free or the Instagram editing app, which also would allow you to do that for free. So all I'm going to do right here is I'm going to download those three clips and import them into Veed. All right. So right here, I've got my files. All I'm going to do is just open them up right here and then just drop them into my project right here. So considering that the audio starts here in this clip, I'm just going to basically cut it up until the audio starts. So we should have kind of a better start to the ad. So the ad would start like this. Perfect. All right, so I just got done editing. Honestly, I would have probably put about give or take five minutes in editing. Generating those videos again was say $35 USD in terms of credits. And so five minute of editing, 35 USD later, here's exactly what I got for an ad. So let's hit play. Why won't the leads come? Why is the phone silent? I just want a predictable pipeline. Is that too much? I tried everything, ads, cold emails, webinars, nothing. My agency is drowning and I'm out of ideas. Just a nightmare, right? Too bad leads aren't predictable. Yet. There you go. 
So it's pretty good. Again, it's an ad, like really good. And I got this like way faster than if I had waited for a real creator to do it. And this is the magic of Sword 2. Like it is literally indistinguishable from reality. Like I'm curious to hear in the comments, could you have told that this was AI had I not shown you that this came from Sword 2? So with that being said, if you want to generate ads entirely using Sword 2, then I recommend you use ArcAds, which is going to be linked down below in the pinned comment section. So check them out. It's the same software I use throughout this video. And if you want to be a part of our one on one inner circle called Ad Engine, which not only gives you access to our Ad Engine AI software, but one on one help from me and my team to review your ads, funnels, offers, name it, then also check the description below to join today. So on that note, I'm going to wish you an amazing day. Do check out other videos on the channel for some more useful marketing tips, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.